Hey everybody, welcome to week three of the course here. And so, um, as usual, I will get into my my topic of the week. Survivor. That's uh, Or being a survivor. So that's kind of, you know, like something reminding me of this. And uh, we're not talking about surviving like an accident or an earthquake or something like that. No, we're talking about life in general, life itself. And so the question is, are you a survivor? And uh, if you are watching this video, uh, then you are a survivor. Uh, you may not realize it, um, you know, but being able to sit and watch this or any video, uh, you're more of a survivor than you may realize. All right. Uh, society kind of trains us to take a lot for granted, even to feel entitled sometimes. Uh, you know, so, you know, something as simple as a cell phone, you know, everybody has them, everybody uses them. Um, and something we take for granted, uh, but you know, I'm old enough to know what not having a cell phone was, and you know, there, there was no big deal. Uh, but you know, things like that. Um, you know, sometimes you know, there's uh, events or people need to go to a food line or something, and in a lot of cases, uh, people go get into their cars and they get on their phones while they're driving or sitting in the food line, and it doesn't even occur to them that, that there's a food line to go to. Know, because we are so conditioned, uh, you know, in society and things like that. And so there, there, there's different things we survive as we go through, you know, life. Uh, there's a lot of things, you know, um, you know, there's the reality, there's, you know, there's illness and, you know, personal loss and tragedies and things like that happen. But, however, there are other obstacles in life that we survive without, without realizing it. And, you know, I'm talking about know, everyday challenges, you know, you get up every day, work, you know, if you have a family and kids, you juggle all that, you know, all these things, uh, obstacles that you navigate through, and, um, you know, you can call it surviving, surviving it, or whatever you want to call it, but you get through it, uh, and if you're a college student, uh, you survive the obstacles getting into college, you may not realize that there were obstacles, however, uh, they're there, and, you know, by going to college, you get access to resources to attend college. Now, whether you like it or not, or like this term, um, you are privileged to have the opportunity to attend college. Uh, you know, some people may not think of themselves as being privileged, but, uh, you know, some people get to go to college because their parents paid for it, and that's great. Nothing wrong with that, uh, you know, because, you know, that's, you know, part of life, too. However, uh, as working adults, uh, many of us have to navigate in life to attend college. And that's just the way it is. Uh, you, know, for, you know, for those people, the working adults, online is the best option. Although it can be more difficult. Okay, it is a more difficult option. You know, online students have to be self-disciplined and able to work independently. Okay, so self-discipline, work independent. And in many cases, campus-based students lack these abilities. Uh, my personal example, I got my MBA at, at, at Michigan. It was a, a hybrid course, you know, online, but we went up there once a semester, uh, once every like six weeks for a weekend. And, uh, you know, traditional based students, uh, you know, we, we would have one or two every once in a while who, you know, took the online course uh, because they thought it was easy or, you know, they would need to get one more course done to finish their MBA. And uh, they were just not prepared for the rigor of online learning. Uh, you know, it, they did not have the same professional uh, level of uh, professionals. And they were, you know, they were just totally um, blown away by that and, and, and barely passed the courses. So, and that's because it takes discipline, you know, you know self-drive, you know, self-scheduling, all these other things that you have to do. As a successful online, I say successful because students do fail. As a successful online student, you possess unique skills and abilities. It's that simple. Uh, earning an online degree is not just the same uh, as a campus degree. It is the same degree. Uh, it's much more difficult and an accomplishment to be proud of. All right, so surviving life's challenges is also about achieving life's challenges and goals. All right, so do not waste the opportunity you have to accept, survive, and overcome life's challenges. That's my point for this week. Do not waste the opportunity.